What's good tribe? It's energy. I'm back with your guys's energy reading in today's message. I'm going to be channeling directly from the universe asking what unexpected blessings are heading your way that you do not see coming. This is probably for the best because like that. So Raven, you might mess it up is what I'm hearing. So you guys have blessings. I'm hearing some of you have blessings right now that are already here, but maybe you can't see them because you're too busy looking at what doesn't seem to be working. I'm going to be uplifting you, picking your head up just a bit so you can see what blessings are actually here and on their way to you. So I don't even like to say on their way because spirit is saying, no, they're not on their way. They're here right now. They're arriving. Can you prepare to receive your blessings? So if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the tribe. So yes, I have another pick a card reading for you guys. I have three different decks you can choose from. If you're looking for a personal reading, if you're looking for exclusive tarot readings, such as the twin flame reading, the miracle reading, you guys can find that at thetarotchest.com where you can see all of the exclusive rare videos that I don't post on YouTube because it allows me to be a little bit more explicit, use the cards I want to use and use music. So you guys can find that at the tarot chest. Pretty much check out my description and stay up to date with my page. I'm going to post everything down here so you guys can have all my handles as well. All right. So you guys have unexpected miracles, blessings that are arriving. We have three different decks that you can choose from. The first thing I'm hearing for you is to understand that miracles are normal. They're not supposed to be as rare as you've been making it. So if you can just allow yourself to be open for the next space of this reading, you will allow yourself an open door to receiving blessings from a door that maybe you didn't know existed. And that's the thing. You don't see this coming. So whatever deck you're drawn to the most, whichever card you're drawn to the most is probably going to be the reading for you. I have deck one, deck two, deck three. And on the other side, I'm going to be presenting exactly the message that the universe has brought you here for. So you didn't just randomly fall on this video for no reason. I believe you were even led here. Okay. Led here so that I can give you a message from the light and encourage you that miracles are a normal state to be in, but you must surrender and be open to receiving. That's all you have to do. So let's see what blessings are here when they're arriving, what you're doing to allow them to come in. And I'm already seeing a card right now. Okay. I'm already seeing a card right now. Let's jump into the reading. We have three different decks you guys can choose from. I'm out. All right. If you guys were drawn to card number one, weave your destiny, then this is what you have arriving right now in your energy field. You have blessings all around you. Can you be open to receiving? You have more authority over your life than you think you do. Okay. So that's another message that's coming through. We see that she's weaving her own destiny and there are different planets. Okay. She's in a different galaxy, which tells me that you are making this happen. Spirit wants you to know you have the power to make this happen. But the cool thing is that whatever your destiny is, I'm hearing it's sure your destiny is your destiny. It's faded. There's nothing you can do about it, which is good because your destiny is actually aligned with your dreams is what I'm hearing. So this would give you more trust in the universe. If you knew that you and the, the universe were on the same page is what I'm hearing. Brilliant new ideas and inspirations. Okay. So you could be inspired through a movie. You could be inspired through music, through arts, through what you see, through traveling, through animals, through nature. What you have coming in is a channeled idea. So this isn't something that you have to figure out or go look for. It's going to literally be given to you because you're bringing it. You have the wand is what I'm hearing. Weave your destiny. So what else do you have coming in? So you have a new perspective, a new idea, a solution to an issue that you've had some time thinking about. Okay. You have a vacation coming up, some type of traveling, some type of transportation, some type of movement. You have many things happening right now. You, you are closing out a, a very big cycle in your life. You could be a Scorpio. You don't have to be, but I was definitely picking up the death card. All right. So 
you are making this all happen. And right now you're desiring more and what you have coming your way is more than you can conceive. It's like spirit is giving it to you in doses because you have to get comfortable with things working out. You have to get comfortable with things always working out. Things always work out for me. Things always work out for me. Literally is not an affirmation. It is what you will naturally be saying in this vibration is what I'm hearing. So we have a job well done. You have joy coming in, contentment and gratitude, the path toward enlightenment. So you have a whole new perspective, a whole new perspective that you are manifesting, which how is this a blessing, right? How is this a blessing? How is a new perspective such a blessing spirit? Because I hear this, all right? I don't think you realize how much awareness is worth, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have received, be open to receiving goodness. Just said that. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon. If you desire to, to have a life where you are able to travel, you're able to explore, and you don't have to worry about money, you must be open to a new perspective because yours has led you to where you are. And it's still a great place to be, but I'm seeing that you're getting ready to receive some type of exploration, expedition, some type of journey. First of all, you're going through a huge spiritual shift when it comes to the way you see life. You used to see life in a pessimistic way maybe, you're, you're shifting into seeing it from more of an optimistic place which law of attraction, we know what you are, you attract. So negative, negativity, positive, positivity. So how much is your perspective really worth in that sense? So don't overlook this blessing of seeing the world differently. It's changing your mindset and actually preparing you to receive more. You must believe that you're worthy of abundance. So believing has to be important. So they're trying to get me to get you to see that your perspective and how you see the world, having those little shifts and awakenings and realizations you've been having is priceless. Those are blessings in themselves. People could only wish they had a revelation like you've had earlier in their time. I'm also feeling a message that's saying you don't have to see it or say it to feel it right? You can have someone in the room. They don't have to say anything. They don't have to say anything. They don't have to do anything, but you can feel the energy. So when you're able to see something that doesn't seem to be there, it's a perspective. And I feel like you're overlooking a lot of your gifts, a lot of your ideas, a lot of your ideas. The ones you should be going towards are the ones that are fun but some of you, there, there's a lot of messages here. You guys could definitely be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You don't have to be. But th there's a completion that has happened. But because you didn't see it, you don't realize it's happened. And how will you know? The evidence is that you now see the world differently. So this is a huge blessing that's here right now because it's allowing a gift to come to you soon. So you have a gift coming to you soon. Boom, that's a blessing right there. Night of earth, time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments, a guardian angel. So you have some sort of stability that is headed your way with the Knight of pentacles here. I see that it's not about how fast you get there. It's about enjoying the journey while you're going. All right, is something I'm hearing too, is like not waiting to celebrate, not waiting to enjoy life. And we also have the eight of fire, which is multiple manifestations that are coming in. Let's get a clue on what that is. A rebirth, yes, like I said, the death card. You don't really see it, so you don't even realize it actually has happened. This spiritual shift where now things are being questioned as far as do they bring you happiness? Do they bring you joy? Is there peace here? 
All right. So you are reinventing yourself. This is a huge blessing of transformation that is here for you. That is happening right now in this moment. This is opening you up to being able to see things from a different perspective, which gives you an advantage because I'm hearing people will admire the way you see things. So once again, perspective is priceless. You can shift someone's entire life by giving them a perspective. They may say, I met this one person and yeah, they said this one profound thing and I'll never forget it. And everyone has that moment, has that moment where they met someone or they met this angel and this person said something to them and they never forgot it. That is priceless. Do you realize you've changed their entire life through a perspective? So once again, overlooking your value, your perspective can, should be found in books, articles, vlogs, audios, poetry, quotes. Doesn't have to be craziness, but I do see with the aid of fire, events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, many things happening at once. This is about to happen so fast. This is also evidence that you shifted. This is all because you shifted your perspective. Shifting your perspective, I'm gonna focus on joy more. I'm gonna focus on being more aware. I'm gonna focus on when I feel good, what happens when I stop feeling good? Why do I just stop feeling good? Can I feel good all the time? Yes. Can I feel good all the time for more than two days in a row? Yes. More than three? Yes. More than a month? Yes. But can you sustain that? Can you stay there in that energy? And when you're in that energy and vibration, imagine what you're attracting. You're only going to attract what's in that high vibration, which is the 1% and that's usually everything everyone wants. Fulfillment, peace, joy, happiness, financial freedom. So it says create a new reality, give life to your dreams. So now you're getting ready to have a huge revelation of what your dreams look like, all right? No more suffering is what I'm hearing. Things are moving forward. It, it, it's, it seems like it's taken a while. It's like you go from the night of earth, which is usually the turtle in the entire tarot deck. You're moving slow to events moving at a fast pace. Other than the chariot, the eight of fire is something that is moving very quickly and it's also multiple manifestations. So you have a rebirth, a transformation. This is a blessing. This is a blessing because you will feel better. Do we not realize how much feeling good is worth? I don't feel like we do. I don't feel like we do know what that is like. All right. What other blessing? Leadership. Breaking cycles. Okay. Your karmic debts are paid. Is what I'm hearing. Let go of what happened in the past. I'm seeing that freedom is here for you to embrace. Leadership is here for you to embrace. So this means promotion for some of you. You're expanding. Your business is expanding. You're expanding. Your perspective is expanding. Share your message and inspire and empower others. Now is time. If you here are here and you selected number one, it is now time to share your ideas with others. Share your perspective, express yourself. I'm seeing that there's wealth coming in from this. All right, let's see what else you have because I'm seeing pleasure at the bottom of the deck. More pleasure, what are you doing for fun? So I see something happening here, some type of tribal exploration that you're gonna be taking. I also see multiple manifestations coming in for you. All right, I want to get some clarity before I get into this. Why is the Knight of Earth here? Clarify why the Knight is here. Okay, yeah, so things in your finances are not moving as fast as you would like them to. And that's because you have some conflict around you with receiving. Anytime something's not here, that you desire and really desire it to be here now is because there's some type of resistance or conflict around it. So with the five of wands, this is usually my too many cooks in the kitchen card. All right. And it's literal people around you. I'm seeing there, no one can block your blessings, but it flows much easier and with ease 
when there are no resisting factors. I'm seeing you be free from the opinions of others, caring about what other people think. All right, there's too much influence of people around you. This is what's slowing everything down. I'm seeing you become financially free. I feel this message. Mm, I feel this message. I feel you being financially free and stable, not having to depend on anyone. All right, now we're really getting into August's reading. Nine of Pentacles, stability, independence. All right, you have your own tree that has money and fruit growing on it. Can you trust yourself to be led by something higher than you that is leading you and helping you weave your destiny, meaning just bring it closer, less resistance, less suffering, and less pain. That's what it is. It's going to happen. Your destiny is going to happen. It's just, do you want to wait in suffering or gratitude? Because gratitude pulls it closer, suffering resists it. Okay, so there's more for you to obviously learn about who you are if you have the ability to weave your destiny. There will be more confidence in knowing who you are and why you have these abilities and faith and trust in them arriving if you knew more about who you were and what you were connected to, which is why it's time to rebirth yourself. Almost like give yourself an, a new name, reinvent, reinventing yourself. A huge transformation that is here. This is a blessing. You get to choose another version of you. It's like another opportunity. So now what Spirit is saying is where the holdup is, is maybe trying to take too many people with you, trying to help too many people. Now is the time to think about yourself because it is in this place where you will feel full and the overflow will be the abundance for the people around you. And they won't have to take from the cup, but they will you will be full, the cup will be full, and then the overflow will still provide an abundance for the people around you. But you must go first, sun card. You must go first, meaning live your life. There's a, there's a whole new life ahead of you, a whole new discovery. Are you willing to receive it? Okay, so that's, that's a, a huge blessing that is here. We have movement, so moving your body. I'm feeling that a lot of you are going to be feeling young again. And those of you who already feel young, moving your body. I'm seeing a lot of you moving your body like you've never moved it before. Maybe some of you desire to dance. Maybe some of you desire to do the yoga, stretch, be in good shape. I'm seeing that there's a whole, that's coming with this this reinvention of yourself, okay? So the blockage is, is literal people, all right? And how could they block? It's not that someone has to do anything. It just is their energy. There's something about being by yourself. You're never alone, but being by yourself, this is where the blessings are being delivered. You're in a space of peace. You're in a space of openness. Let's see what your, what your energy is when it comes to receiving these blessings. Thank you, that was quick. The sun, can't make it up. I just showed you guys that. You gotta go first. The garden and the gate, all right? So you have to go first, meaning it's time to be true to you. And, and a lot of you, this is where your partner, true partnerships are gonna come in because you are gonna manifest people, but they're gonna be more aligned with your energy. It won't be conflicting, all right? It's like you will be in sync. And, and the people around, you're not in sync with them, all right? I'm getting lovers. I'm getting lots of happiness. So I'm seeing that you are manifesting a soulmate is what I'm hearing. All right, let's get that message. <laughs> I'm weak. Oh my gosh, the devil could be a Capricorn, doesn't have to be. Whoever this person is, they're going to help you manifest a lot of money, all right? So I'm seeing that it could even be a business partner, but once again... Ah, there's something about you getting caught up with people all the time. And it's, it's more challenging for you to choose yourself when people are involved. So that's why you have to get comfortable choosing yourself before you add more people, because then you'll at least be confident enough to still remain true to you no matter who's around. All right. It's about you getting comfortable with being you. You're manifesting some type of business collaboration opportunity, branding opportunity, um, 
So this is another blessing that's coming in. This is a person. This is, this is a person who's going to be giving you an opportunity, could be a promotion. Whatever this is, it's aligning for your leadership. You sharing your message is also bringing in a lot of blessings. So whatever energy you're in, the sun, you're in an energy of joy. I see joy returning back to you, vitality, energy returning back to you. Why? Because you're disconnecting from the confusion and the chaos of the disharmony. It's just, it's just not harmonious, whatever it is. Whoever it is, there's a lack of harmony here. Harmony doesn't always have to mean beef. It could just mean we're not seeing the same vision at this moment. And trust me, what you're here to do, many people are going to strive to believe, even for themselves. You will, are so courageous to the people around you, you don't realize this, okay? So you have an opportunity coming in, some type of offer um, that is coming in for you. Okay, let's just see what you are doing to make this happen. You're in a place of movement. Let's get, these are self-care cards. So once again, getting yourself prepared to receive this blessing, this person, this opportunity that's bringing you into leadership, financial freedom, stability for yourself, but therefore you have to see yourself doing it by yourself. Get comfortable being by yourself. You're never alone, but just get comfortable with being by yourself. Yourself is your best friend. Look at this, chanting yoga movement, all right? Look at this, getting into a space of balance, of peace. You see, this is two different energies here. And the people who are involved, they just happen to be in the same uh, class. So you could be meeting someone in a class. I'm seeing explore, be open to an adventure around you. Even if you're not taking a vacation and you're taking a staycation, whatever this is, be open to meeting people who just happen to be on the same vibration. You didn't have to call them and, and be like, hey, meet me here. You were there and they were there. It's easy. It's effortless. This is your tribe. So you're manifesting friendships as well. A couple of friends and you're manifesting them because they're just showing up in places where you resonate with. Just go to more places where you have joy and resonate with. And I'm seeing you meeting these people. All right. Next, we have watch a movie. So once again, I said that in the very beginning, you could be inspired through a movie could be a role that someone's playing or whatever they're doing. Inspiration is communication directly from your truest, most authentic spirit, which is yourself, your truest self. And so inspiration is literal communication. And what that means is that your higher self is communicating with you through inspiring you through what you're watching. Entertainment, what's entertaining to you, what feels fun to you. These are all answers. So you are, you have huge blessings all around you. The blessings are already here. The opportunities are here. It's about making space and being open for them. And it's been kind of conflicting with this energy. So let's get what that is. Five of wands. Okay. So opportunities coming in some type of partner that you're attracting with stability with the king of pentacles. I do believe you are manifesting a soulmate. If you are here, you're manifesting a soulmate. All right, we have adjacent possibilities, yeah. So once again, just simply not being on the same page. Many things can happen, being open to all of the possibilities. So you're manifesting a leadership position also, and any delay that was holding your manifestations up are going to be removed, but it's simply because you're choosing to make space for them. And that space that you're making is through these relationships and aligning them with where they should be. So if you guys show deck number one, this is your reading and blessings and miracles to come that are arriving right now in your life. Be open to them and allow the light to guide you every step of the way. All right, I'm out. Love and light onto deck number two. All right, if you guys were drawn to card number two, this is your reading for what you can expect as far as a blessing to come. So if you guys were drawn to card two, we have let peace prevail. So there could be a situation or your life that you feel like you're seeking resolution to. I see that you're getting ready to receive resolution. I'm hearing that, that the universe is gonna communicate with you, but you must be in a place of receiving and in this place, it's very peaceful. They're connecting me to you in a space of peace. 
this is where your solutions and resolutions can be found in a place of peace. Some people would say, oh, I need to feel peace so I can let this go. It's letting it go so that the resolutions can come to you, okay? Because there is some type of dissatisfaction that's happening. Um, could be some emotional void that you just feel like you know is more or you're desiring to feel more. It's more of like desiring to feel more. With the four of water, this is like a four out of 10. If you were to rate anything a four out of a 10, it's just dissatisfaction with where I am, where I'm going. I'm just kind of dissatisfied with where I'm at. And I'm hearing spirit say that you can change it and start to focus on where you desire to be. Okay. You have help and support is what I'm hearing. We have the three of earth, the power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work. It's a team, be a team player. So being open to receiving help, imagining different type of help. Okay. Imagine your team wanting to see you succeed, wanting to help you. Okay. So you're changing the way you see things based on how things have happened in the past. All right. You're manifesting support. Support is the biggest word here, financial support. And someone is going to be recognizing some of the work that you do have. It might not be something you thought it would. We're going to get some clarity on that. Your conflict is the five of air. This is an inner conflict, self-sabotage. All right, we're going to get into that as well. And we also have the hermit. Spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, and self-discovery. All right, so you have a lot going on in your energy field. So with the hermit coming out, I'm seeing that a space of peace is where you're going to have the best introspection here. There's a, a desire to look within as to what is making you feel this way. All right. Now, these blessings that are coming in, imagine I am channeling a message of a blessing of a miracle, which is in a very high vibration. But before I can even get to this. We see that you must be in a high vibration to receive for me to even receive the cards that are in high vibration. So that's how much your vibration is affecting what you're manifesting, right? So let's just see what is that? All right, we have King of Cups in reverse, Five of Pentacles. So once again, we are looking to see what blessings are you manifesting? We're getting the King of Cups in reverse. This is someone who's not really in tune with their emotions, how they feel or why what they feel is important. And that's because you've been focusing on the five of pentacles here, having a place to stay, right? I wouldn't want to tell you that you're manifesting lack, but that is what is here, five of pentacles. And so, of course, I'm not going to just leave you with what you're manifesting. I'm going to show you in the cards. You can see the energy. We have the four of cups here, dissatisfaction. We have the three of earth, the power of creativity. So the best thing that you have going right now in your vibration is your ability to create this ability to create. How often are you even allowing yourself to even get to create? Right. So I see that there's a influx and inspiration of creative energy that's coming to you. That is a blessing that is coming to you. But if you're focused on the dissatisfaction, the four of cups, the spilt milk, then it is going to be challenging for you to see the blessing right in front of you. And so we have an unwise choice. Learn what you can from the situation. Review everyone's motives. So then we, we don't know who to trust, what to follow, what to believe. So with the five of air, this would be inner conflict. Our fives are change, cards of change, diversity, challenges, right? And that is because of the vibration that you have been in. And so being optimistic about your future, I'm going to pull on that energy so we can raise the vibration so you can even be in a space to receive this message. 
because even to receive this message, you have to feel good. And so all of the cards, all your cards are not aligned with what you're truly desiring because you're not focused on what you're truly desiring. And let's see what that is. We have cycles at the bottom. You're breaking this cycle so you can manifest something different by letting things flow. Maybe you're just like, I've been trying to do this. This doesn't seem to work. You've been focusing on having a place to stay, your survival, where you're going to go, where you're going to work, how long you're going to work how long you're going to work, where you're going to work, 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 work. All right. So what blessing? Okay. So we have friendship in the reverse. Seek out your soul family, surround yourself with positive people. So spirit is saying, spend more time socializing. I just said this work, work, work. You are, you are, your friends, your new friends are here but you can't see them because the energy. So I can tell you these blessings are here, they're coming in, but I truly desire for you to receive them and experience them and not just see them. See them whether through other people and not seeing yourself actually have good friends. That was something that came up earlier, all right? Now the only way to be receiving is to be in this mode receptive mode king of cups to slow down to allow something higher than yourself to guide you when it comes to how you feel all right so there's more of discovering yourself so right now you already have the blessing of friendship around you it is here you just cannot see them you cannot recognize them you may be seeing them physically but you're not recognizing them compassion and i just said this support just said this all right but are you open to that you being here on this video says i'm open to support so th support is being given to you right now so be patient with yourself introduce more peace to yourself okay uh, put yourself first is what i'm hearing so you can receive more you have to get comfortable with receiving blessings this is what spirit's saying like hey i'm giving them to you but you're not you're rejecting them because you don't you're not recognizing them ask for help get more rest nurture yourself okay so nurture yourself getting to a place of knowing everything is okay everything is working out my blessings are already here i'm open to receiving them a lot of you are have been in your masculine energy you're independent I can figure this out. I'm going to make this happen. And it's, you're making it happen, but you're being drained in the process of whatever that is. Whatever you're meant to do here, it's connected at the heart. It's your heart feels full. Your heart is meant to feel full. Compassion, be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. All right. So see the good. Focus on what's going right. And like I said, I can't, I haven't been able to get to that because of all of the other energy. So that's how I know your energy is, look, open your eyes to the possibilities, discontentment or boredom, missing an opportunity. Usually on the four of cups, there's three cups in front of them and they're so focused that they have spilled over, uh-oh, no, that there's one big cup behind them. That's everything they desire, but they just can't see, they can't. They can't recognize it. So I'm hearing lift your head up. If anything, receive the blessing of inspiration and encouragement to keep aligning. Okay, because it shouldn't have to be a struggle. Keep going. Yeah, no, don't keep the struggle going is what I'm feeling. Be open to a path of ease. So get comfortable with not worrying. Get comfortable with not being concerned. So what blessing do you have coming in? You have support coming in. You have support energetically coming in. You have support from other people coming in. Also, your soul family is here. Uh, I'm, I'm hearing that they're already around you. They're closer than you think. And you have compassion coming in. Something that's going to make your heart full. What is that going to be? Flow. Find an easier path forward. Surrender the outcome and release your expectations. Polarity. I was feeling that heavy. Find an easier path forward, surrender the outcome, release your expectations. So once again, 
What you focus on is what you're gonna get. If you focus on the negative or what the worst can happen, you will keep seeing that because that's what you're preparing and imagining. But spirit is saying, yes, bad things happen, but good things happen too. Integrate all of this shadow side. There can be no light without the dark. So the dark is a great contrast. Yes, the things you went through are great because they helped you see the light of the situation. They never, ever dimmed your light. And so now you're understanding the laws of the dark and the light. You get to decide. You get the choice. Okay, so what is it that you're attracting? What blessing? Imagination. So you're getting ready to have a very active imagination. And it says, count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in simple things. Always expect the best. Now, would you look at that? Always expect the best. And eventually, you're just going to keep seeing it and seeing it and seeing it and seeing it. Okay, but you have not been expecting the best. And you have not been getting that because you just simply haven't been expecting it. You have the power to envision a new reality. This, if anything, this is a blessing to have this insight and knowledge that it's possible for you to make this happen. Okay, give yourself permission to dream, believe in unlimited possibilities. So spirit is getting ready to inspire you. All right, spirit is getting ready to inspire you. And I'm seeing that there's to imagine more. All right. Imagine more. Imagination is a gift. Imagination is seen through the eyes of the universe. How else will you know if you don't see it first in your imagination? Even where you want to go, you see it first there. If you don't recognize it, doesn't mean it's not happening. It starts the imagination first. Imagine more for yourself. Imagine more than survival. The biggest blessing you're going to get is right now to know that you have the power to do this. This is what's changing everything. You've been a hermit. You've been kind of, you could have been to yourself, not sure who to connect with. I see once you start opening up, you have a friendship group that you are manifesting. This is a blessing that is here right now in your life. All right. Receiving more than enough. The five of pinnacles is just enough to get by receiving more than enough. Imagine what that would feel like when you receive more than enough. Big, happy changes. Big, happy changes. Can you see these changes happening? You will receive more than enough in the next month, okay? Just imagine that and start imagining so it can start happening. Literally, it's that simple. Just imagine more. That's all. <laughs> That's all. Within the next few months, okay? I was being asked to get a time duration card. Within the next few months, you guys are getting ready to receive this. In the next few months, you're getting ready to receive this. You're going to receive a lot of peace, a lot of peace, resolutions in the situations, what to let go of, what to trust, just peace of mind. How much is that worth? Peace of mind. All right. You're going to also be receiving more than enough. So within, I said the next 30 days, it said the next few months. So the next few months, expect more than enough. All right, you're gonna be receiving an overflow of what you normally receive income-wise, all right? Let's see now what you're doing to make this happen. Thank you. Sweet treat. So you're doing something that feeds your appetite, nourishes your soul, what feels good, pleasure. Pleasure was the first card that came out for every single deck here pleasure what more should you be doing stimulating pleasure having more fun is what you should be doing because this is the energy in which you're going to receive in this energy in this vibration what you're desiring so let's see what this is about thank you the moon card seven of cups you will have multiple decisions there's multiple things you want to do you don't know where to start where should i start well take a step back and allow your higher self to guide you through your inspiration. Every day is different. You can't treat the same day the same. Sometimes you'll be inspired to do something on one day. The next day you might be inspired to do something differently. You're multifaceted, all right? 
but your fantasy world and your imagination world is getting ready to be very active. I'm hearing journal. I'm hearing vision board. Everything that's on your vision board is not about you reaching a goal. It's not about you obtaining a goal. We're putting all of our goals up there. Half of those goals wouldn't be up there if you already had the main one, which is financially free to buy anything you want and do anything you want. Okay, let's move beyond for your imagination board. Assume that you already have the finances. Half of you probably wouldn't even start a business because you wouldn't need to. You're doing a lot of things you think you need to do to receive what you desire. But Spirit is saying there's an easier path forward that will flow naturally. And what this path seems to be for you is to imagine more for yourself and allow yourself to receive it however it comes. So with this imagination board, assume you're already financially free. Where do you desire to go? What do you desire to have? Obviously, you're going to be drawn to what picture or image is most inspiring. And if you look at the word imagine, you're going to see in the word imagine is image. Images of the mind. And it's challenging to see something or having something you've maybe never seen physically. But if you can see it in your imagination, at least understand that that is a desire you're here to manifest. All right. So they're telling me your imagination board. This is your destiny. This is the life you're here to live. Whatever's inspiring to you that you would be doing if you were already financially free, everyone was already taken care of around you and it was just about having fun. What would you be doing? The, the truth is, is you haven't really been connecting with even that thought. Have you even thought that far in advance? So all you're being done here is being expanded in your imagination. And now the blessings can come. Okay, so the tower card. So that's what's happening. The tower. I have to make a decision. And when I make a decision and I change what I've been doing, my whole life is going to change. My whole lifestyle is going to change. Absolutely, it's going to change. It's going to be more true and authentic to you. Therefore, everything will work out because it's true and authentic to you. All right. We have the sun card here peeking through. So now the blessings can come. Now the cards are coming. We have the nine of cups. You have a romantic interest. But this romantic interest is not in the frequency of this. Okay, they're in the frequency of freedom with the white horse. So when you become and attune yourself to that frequency, then you will attract everything on that frequency. And of course, you would want to attract someone who is happy, right? It's like you would think, right? Can you just at least be happy in your, you know? So I just feel like you're not understanding how much your vibration plays a part in this life that you're living the physical is the very 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 last thing that you see is the materialization of it but there's so much energy that happens before it, and it starts in your imagination and this is not a place where i can often find you is what spirit is saying so go play go play and go play in your imagination and whatever's revealed to you is the previews of what you're here to experience this is this is an enlightenment moment here. The tower. Spirit is, it's like, it's time now to try something new is what I'm getting for you. Ten of swords, an ending. Yes, there's heart, there's disheartness, there's bitterness, there's heaviness from having to walk away from some things that you're comfortable with or doing, even if it's eating habits. Okay, I'm just seeing that whatever plays a part in making you feel bad must go. So if you're wondering where your blessings are, have been, it's like blessings. Oh, I got to make it through. Okay. I got to make it through this heartache. I got to make it through this bitterness. I got to, it's like blessings are on such a high frequency. And all we have to do is meet the blessing with the frequency it's at. 
And that's through gratitude, through joy, through happiness, through peace. That's our job. Or the blessing cannot be delivered. Okay? And even if it is, it might be through a place where you have to compromise. It's not going to feel easy and flowing when it's out of alignment. We have death and rebirth. You could have been drawn to card number one, Scorpio energy. You're going through a rebirth. All right. You may not see it energetically, but it is happening. The tower, it feels like things aren't really going as I've planned. Well, your plan is one out of a million cabillion. If cabillion was a word. And you only have possibly maybe six or seven different paths in your life that you can say, okay, I'll try this. I have plan A, B, C, D. The universe has all of the plans, every path and every possibility. And then here you come and you vibrate desire. And when you desire something, a boop, the bulb lights up. You may not see it, but the universe sees your vibration and your desire. And first things first, the universe is now granting that wish and that desire. So if you prepare for the worst, that is what you're going to get. You're preparing for this is what you're saying. We don't even need to be aware of the worst. And this is where I lose the logical people. So your vibration, all right, is important. I see a lot more joy coming back to you, all right? I see that everything is a blessing. Take a step back so you can see the higher perspective and you'll understand how this could be a blessing, all right? So if you guys chose deck number two, this is your message in blessings that are arriving right now in your life and blessings that are already here that maybe you are overlooking. I hope I was able to bring some clarity to you guys. Check out the tarotchest.com if you guys are looking for some more rare videos. In the meantime, I'm gonna move on to card number three. What's good card three? This is the message for you regarding blessings that are arriving right now. I'm already picking up a message for you. If you guys were drawn to card three, reveal the truth, that has long been hidden. This means that you are connecting very heavily with your crown chakra of enlightenment i'm hearing self-care is the most important when it comes to just being open to receive the blessing the blessings are already here is what i'm hearing for you so if you guys were drawn to this card they're leading me to multiple cards all right let's just see what this is about what blessings are already here for card three thank you we have beloved prepare for your life partner romance is returning to your relationship believe you are lovable once again a lot of magical energy, the purple. We have freedom at the bottom of the deck, all right? And we also have awareness, so the discernment to be able to see who is truly connected with you. And at the bottom of the deck, we have prosperity. So out of all the cards that you may have been drawn to today, three is very significant when it comes to royalty, sovereignty, all of this purple. All right, so the crown chakra, the third eye chakra, being able to see awareness. All right, so highly spiritual, highly gifted, you are meant to live wild and free. So you are manifesting freedom. Freedom is here. All right, what is freedom here in the form of? It's being expressed in the form of money. More money is coming to you. You have a life partner that is here. Let's see what that's about. Seven of Swords, the higher font. There's still more connecting. You still would not recognize this person right now. It's very important that you're able to see. So you're manifesting the ability to see the truth in people. This is a blessing. This is saving you a lot of heartache, a lot of pain, a lot of breakups. You will not even have to go through the door. Everything you went through, you'll never have to go through again. If anything, this is a confirmation that you are free. All right. You are manifesting a gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Why? Because you're starting to feel more abundant. I'm hearing aim to pay your bills sooner to get them out of the way. You'll feel more free. You'll feel more abundant. 
to not wait to pay. You will just pay. Okay. You're, you're getting comfortable with being prosperous. If I was prosperous, what would I do? Would I upgrade the $2? Of course I would get comfortable upgrading the two dollars because pretty soon it's gonna be two thousand okay because you're you're manifesting prosperity but you must feel prosperous to receive prosperity so you're being shifted right now to feeling more free because freedom feels like prosperity and so forth prosperity is freedom so manage your finances with love is what we have we also have the chariot cancer energy and we also have the Ace of Swords, all right? A newfound perspective coming in. You could have been drawn to card number one. A whole new perspective, all right? Seven of Swords. A lot is shifting in your relationships. You're manifesting relationships that are connected to your tribe. You are manifesting soulmate relationships also. But there's some confusion here with the seven of swords and the two of swords when it comes to which way to go. So I'm seeing solutions. Solutions are connected to your prosperity. These solutions are going to be given to you through channeled messages. Once again, the chariot, this is going to happen very fast. You're going to get this idea. It's going to happen fast. I need to know why is the seven of swords here? You have a gift of prosperity that's here. Money, income increasing. So expect to receive extra on your next checks. Expect it. Mm -hmm. Confirmation. Expect it. Expect to receive more. All right? Expect to receive more. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Four of Cups. That was my number two card today. So the discontentment. You're going to be seeing a new perspective. I'm just seeing go to deck one if you want to hear about that. All right. We have the six of cups. So you're also going to be reminiscing. And whatever you did as a child, it was connected to who you truly were too. It was a part of your DNA. Your freedom to be wild, to be free. All right, you have independence coming to you, financial independence, financial freedom that is here for you right now. And right now with the four of cups, I just explained on card two, you will not be able to see this cup if you're focused on everything that did not work out. The blessing is here. Where, where's the blessing? Let's get another card because I have a question. Ask your angels, where is this blessing? You're ready. Where is this blessing at? Okay, because we have money coming in. I'm seeing it on your next check. Expect over. Expect something extra. And here's the thing. Not many of you have many places where, where prosperity can enter your life. It's like be open to receiving. Be open to finding money. Be open to people giving you money. And it's like your blessings are coming through people. So your discernment is very important. So you're receiving an increase of discernment when it comes to your friendships, when it comes to your relationships. All right. You're manifesting your life partner. Literally prepare for your life partner. That's what you're preparing for. Now, first, you must be in a vibration that is high enough to receive this person. And this person is free. This person is prosperous. This isn't it's it's more so of you just feeling that once you feel that you become that in a material way, but you must feel it first. So where are these blessings? A year from now, helpful people. So it is helpful people in the near future. All right, meditation brings answers. So within the next year, you are meeting either a solid team, you're meeting a lot of helpful people. So from this time, whenever you see this video, within the next year, you are opening now up a portal to receiving helpful connections connections that will make you feel free connections that will give you the freedom to express yourself often authentically a partner also you're getting prepared to receive that in a person so you must be comfortable receiving it period or you'll just push them away or you'll push it away or you just simply won't see it because you're not on a higher high enough vibration of freedom to see it Okay. 
So raise, keeping your vibration high is very important. How you feel, how happy you are. So you're also getting ready to, you could be manifesting a mentorship, a teacher position, teaching others, connecting with others. I'm hearing you're ready. Okay. It's not about reading all of the books. It's not about any of that. I will have a situation that I'll go through and I'll be teaching someone. And then the next week I'll have a reading and that person matches the same description of this person. And if it was not for that conversation, I would not have the expertise to teach this one. It's such a perfect brilliance. I could have never planned that. First of all, I meet you guys all over the world. I cannot plan who I meet. All right. So I'm just putting this out there and the universe is responding to me. So that's another message. This is the only card I got social media, share, share your, share your ideas, share your smile, share the little bit of light that you think you have, because you think it's maybe you don't realize how much it is card three. Okay. You're, you're so connected to the crown chakra. I believe that this is a blessing you're getting ready to see. This is where your prosperity comes from. All right. So a, a year from now is it could be a whole family you're going to have within the next year. All right. Because I have the higher font. So what is coming in? Yeah. Eight of wands. We had that card as well. I don't know if it was card one or two, but multiple manifestations. OK, card one. So could have been drawn to all three cards. <laughs> um, card one had the eight of wands. This is multiple manifestations coming in. So you have multiple blessings here a chance to be free. You're going to see the opportunity is going to keep presenting itself. Do you want to be free? Do you want to feel free? Do you want to feel prosperous? Would this, would the prosperous version of you do this? Get comfortable with feeling prosperous. It's here so you can receive it. All right. So you can receive it. All right. We have two of cups. Can't make it up. You are manifesting a life partner. All right. So if, if there has been connections that have not been working out, situations that have not been working out you are aligning yourself with the partner that is a soulmate to your most authentic self you're going to be free and feeling prosperous very happy very excited and very aware when you meet this person so what you can do is use your chakra power Use your crown chakra to close your physical eyes and connect with this person. What do they feel like? Not what do they look like? That's a big message right there. Stop looking on the surface of things. It's not the Rolls Royce. It's how the best luxury, abundant, it's what that car makes you feel. What does it make you feel? What would that house make you feel like? What would those shoes make you feel like? What would this friendship make you feel like? True supportive friends that are connected with you in authentic way. You're getting ready to receive connect lifelong connections is what I'm hearing. Lifelong connections with a partner and you do not have to do it alone is what I'm hearing. You're never alone. So we have ask your angels. They are guiding you. All right. So manifestation could be easy for you. Maybe when it comes to money, getting what you want, prosperity, but when it comes to people, maybe this has been a little bit more challenging within the next year, okay? Your entire circle is changing and what are you doing to make this happen? Drink tea. That's what I need to be doing. Drinking tea, connect with your ancestors. So your ancestors are a good measurement of frequency of what it should feel like when you're connecting with your tribe people who are different they are connected to something more than just the physical world all right so drink tea take care of yourself your throat chakra could be be very important as well all right speaking could be very important to you you can feel free when you speak all right so speaking up sharing more i'm seeing is a gift you're going to be sharing more people are going to want to share more with you because you're sharing are you ready to receive do you have a donation link do you have a gift link do you have a link that says a project you're working on that i can support you on where can i support you this is what i'm hearing for you people are going to want to say this to you okay make an altar so i love this 
okay? Make an altar, family, oh my goodness, you're attracting a twin flame. I can feel the difference between a twin flame and a soulmate because they're so rare, okay? They're so rare. So this person is a unicorn, all right? They're a unicorn. They're going through a transformation as well with the butterflies, all right? So making an altar, it is gonna be very important um, for you to have a space where you can connect and receive that feels sacred to you. And it, whatever you desire to put on it, you could be drawn to sage, you could be drawn to candles. I can tell you one thing, purple would be something amazing to put on your altar. Um, and an altar, once again, is just a space that's sacred and, and it separates, it gives this illusion of separation that this space is like the portal I go to co to connect with the outside world. All right. So the, no one is supposed to go in that space. It's supposed to be sacred for you to connect easier. You don't have to, it can be in the open, um, but I'm just definitely seeing that make, maybe making a space to where you can connect on a deeper level, where you can truly let go of your thoughts and just imagine and see where you're being led, see this person, see these connections. You have an amazing family life, all right? You're here to experience the family you've always desired to have something very deep that I'm hearing for you. All right, less talking. So you're gonna have friends that are invested in you, but you don't, you're not, they're not getting anything from you. I, I see that you're the, you could be the one with the insight. You could be the one always having to talk or initiate. This is, you're gonna learn. You're gonna be able to learn from these people. You will love to be around them. You will feel like you're expanding around them. Okay, you could have a lot of distractions and I see that that could be the point of the altar, okay? So we have family at the bottom of the deck. So you are manifesting your family tribe, all right? You're here to create art. I'm hearing create something and, and sell it. I was gonna say share it. I just heard create something because you enjoy creating it and then realize that you're now just saying, hey, I'd like to share this joy with you. All right, I'd like to share this joy with you. And in return, you can receive money, resources, whatever it is you desire. All right, so we have be vigilant. So yeah, you're definitely someone who can be an advocate, someone who has a lot of courage, a lot of strength. You inspire a lot of people. So people are gonna naturally want to support you. Even if you think it wasn't a big deal what you said, there's nothing worth a shift in your life that you'll never forget because of what something someone said. So it's very, there's some things you're overlooking, some value you're overlooking within yourself. I see that you're gonna see the value in what you have and it's infinite. There is no value for what you have to offer, but you must see that. It's like someone who has a tea and one cup is worth like $10 million, but they don't know it. So they're just selling it for 10 bucks. Until I come along and I say, do you know that's the tea from the Himalayan and it connects you with the ancestors of the privacy? It's like you don't even realize how much it's worth. So you're just giving it away for free. I'm hearing some of you could be advice, could be just your energy. Just coming around is an energy boost. What is that worth? I hear people pay a lot of money for coffee and caffeine. And you naturally are inspiring people to feel that and they're paying for that in a can. So it's gotta be worth something. So I'm just seeing having more realization of what you have to offer and the value that you have to offer is what's coming to you, okay? Need and necessity. So I'm also hearing that you've been focusing a, a lot on just what you need and now it's about going beyond and desiring more seeing yourself with more go beyond need because your needs are always met haven't they always been met your needs what you need to live and survive they've always been met but wants and desires are different a desire is something that doesn't go away it's always there you might want a scooter but then you might grow up and not want a scooter your desire is something you'll always desire, which is why the Six of Cups, even when you were a child to the adult, same person, same dog, same exact energy. 
So drawing, art can be very important. Your art is worth more than you think. Don't even give anything a price tag. Nothing you create deserves a price tag. There is no price. The price is just to meet halfway. Because your art can literally give someone a perspective that they've never seen before. So you're providing experiences. You're providing an artistic, creative outlook. You have so much to offer. Lack is never for you to experience, lest you choose to feel the vibration of that. Okay. All right. Embrace spirit we have at the bottom of the deck, calm in the storm. So you're coming to more of a peaceful time right now. Soak in the tub. We have abundance planning. So plan on what you're going to do with all this money coming in. Start planning now as if you already won the jackpot. And what does this do? This gets you ready to receive more is what I'm hearing. Get ready to receive more. All right. Last cards from spirit on what is it that they're manifesting blessings and miracles that they're manifesting right now. Sustenance. Okay. So something that is a little bit more deeper beyond just what it looks like. It has sustenance. It stays sustaining for a long time. This is what a desire feels like. It's not a want. It's something that will fulfill you for a long time, if not forever. This could be a career. This could be a person. This could be your friendship. Once again, that's why I was getting lifelong. You are manifesting lifelong, lifelong careers, lifelong dreams. So imagine if it's lifelong, would you want to be doing this for the rest of your life? Whatever it is that you're doing. If it's something you enjoy, you're going to feel like, wow, I hit the jackpot. But if it's not, it's not going to feel that way, right? So you're manifesting that. You're also manifesting yourself to being open. And we have healing and personal transformation. So healing so you can receive now, receive goodness, receive love, receive soulmates. How do you receive it? By being open to it actually existing. And how do you do that? By just simply connecting with what that would feel like. And that's connecting you with that version of you in that reality that you're in when you're healed. So if you guys were drawn to card number three, definitely check out the tarot chest. I just released an 888 manifestation video there. You can find there. If not, I'll see you guys in the next prediction reading or the next energy reading. Follow me down below. You guys will see all of my handles, all of the things I have to offer in the description box. And if I don't catch you there, catch me on Instagram at It's Energy. In the meantime, I'm out. Love and light.